my beautiful friends and welcome to a brand new video! As you can see, we are not in the comfort of my sewing room, we're in the comfort of my bed with my, my friends, my, my little guys. Because today we are going to be doing something a little different, not super different, because it's me, I'm just a crafty guy. We are going to be doing some embroidery! And this isn't really like a tutorial because I'm not good at embroidery, but this is going to be me trying something different. So this is my favorite jean jacket. It's huge, it makes me look tiny when I wear it because it goes down to my knees practically. It's, it's just so good. And it's got a big back, and on this top panel, I want to embroider it. And you see, I want to embroider this here moth. <laughs> I'll put it on the screen. Oh, here it goes. This is just a stock image I found. And we're going to be trying a method. So for this method, what you're going to need is a computer, a printer, paper to put in the printer, an embroidery hoop, an embroidery needle. This one is huge and all the different colors of embroidery thread that you're going to want to use plus a spray bottle. This one has a little fan in it but it takes batteries and I didn't put batteries in it. We're not going to need the fan, just the water. So let's get started, okay? So the first step is going to be printing out the photo that you want to embroider. Um, if you're new, I would like suggest something that isn't like super detailed, like don't do a self-portrait for your first try. I mean, you could, I believe in you, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna embroider this funky looking moth. So first I'm going to print that out and I'm gonna print it like big, but not super big, big though, so that it like, I can, I'm going to print it as big as I want the design to be. Okay. Let's do it. I have acquired the photo. Uh, it has some stock photo watermarks on it. I'm not going to embroider those on. That would be kind of weird. So I'm just going to cut out around the picture. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just like so you're not embroidering around an entire piece of paper. to put the embroidery hoop wait I need a bigger hoop but this is the only one so I guess we'll have to do this in pieces and pray for the best what whoa, whoa. so I'm doing it on this back bit so I'm going to center the embroidery hoop on here where I want it I'm gonna do it laying it down for security. Okay, I've got the little hoop on. You just sandwich it, the, the piece. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pin this pattern on. Seems about right. And yeah, gotta pin it on. Um, for some reason I don't have pins in here, so I'm going to safety pin it on because I'm lazy. I might regret this later. I have adequately pinned it on for the first bit and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to pick a base color. I think I'm going to use yellow because I've just got a whole bunch of it and I am going to thread this needle which okay so I saw that you should use like oh gosh the length of like from your arm to your elbow. So let's start with that, see what happens. Snip. And I'm going to tie a nice secure double knot because apparently you're not supposed to do it normally while well, like folding it in half because it's too thick or whatever. 
This is just me sassing embroidery. Sassing embroidery for 10 minutes straight. That's what this video is going to be called. Okay. And then we're going to thread this giant needle. Look at this. This is huge. I know some people separate the threads, but this isn't actual embroidery thread. This is friendship bracelet making thread. So I pulled it through a little bit, you just gotta leave it like that, and what I'm going to do is take this color and I'm going to outline all of like the separate bits. Does that make sense? I'm going to like go around the antenna, go around the head, go around all the details that I'm going to do in different colors. Okay? I just continuously backstitched around all the pieces changing colors when necessary. I have made it like three quarters of the way around the body of the moth and I'm running very low on embroidery thread. So I'm just going to tie it off and start on another bit to finish this off. Okay, it is many hours later, and I have done a whole bunch of outlining, and it's now time that we use our spritzy spritzy. We just honestly, you know that when you spray, you get paper wet, it goes. So you want to get this paper wet so that you can tear it off without tearing out any stitches. Yeah, don't spray your computer. I'm just going to spritz that a little bit, let it soak. And then you're just able to tear off the chunks. There will be pieces that are caught under thread that you're going to have to gently like pull out. But that's life. Might I recommend doing this over a garbage so you don't build a hamster home in your bed? Regardless of the hamster home, I have the outline all, you know, like, free. <laughs> so after this, uh, I'm gonna take a walk because I've been sitting in my bed like this, stitching, and when we return, we can start on filling this in. This is where things are gonna get very time consuming. We got our hoop on, we're double cheeked up on a Thursday afternoon, um, and we're just gonna fill it in. I'm gonna go color by color, you could go section by section. I'm starting with white because honestly I just want to fill in the eyes and the skull just because I'm very excited about those parts. And we'll see where we go. I didn't have much rhyme or reason to the way I was filling it in. I just stitched back and forth, making sure that it didn't look ugly. Multiple days later, and here we are. Oh gosh. I will put in some photos. Okay. Um... For my first time embroidering, I'm just honestly really proud of this. Like honestly, I can't really complain that much. It's just so pretty. I think every time I show someone how big it is, they're like, wow, I thought it was a lot smaller. Like, it big, okay? I just need you to know that. I saw that um, you can set this, like make sure it like stays longer and you can put it through the wash by ironing the, the the wrong side of it down I mine looks like a mess because I'm a mess of a person but I'm gonna iron that down to like set it but yeah other than that we're done so try this because I know you're at home because we're in a pandemonium and yeah my next video will probably be sewing related this was just something else. I'll see you in the next one.